All right, guys, here we are. It is now August and I'm here to give you the updates to the travel restrictions, both within Greece and coming to Greece. But before I start with that, I just wanna quell some fears about traveling to Greece in the next couple of weeks. I know that you're seeing that cases are rising here and there are rumors going around that certain places are having restrictions put in place on them. However, as of right now, that is not the case. Mykonos did have about a week of restrictions put on them because they had a big uptake in cases, but that has now ended. And the only restrictions they had were clubs and bars could not play music and there was a curfew from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. I believe. So really not that much of a rest restriction. Uh, do keep in mind that if you're coming right now, bars, restaurants, clubs, if you're in them, you have to be seated. You can't be up and dancing or talking at the bar. It's just something they're trying to keep people sitting down, circulation to a minimum so that people aren't breathing on each other, which makes sense to me. Okay, travel within Greece. This is the part that's changed a lot. So it used to be that you could come to Greece, present your PCR or your vaccine, and go out your business, but that is not the case anymore. So if you're traveling to the islands, you either need to present a PCR test or a rapid test or be fully vaccinated. That's always sort of been the case for a few months now. However, if you're gonna then go to another island, depending on which island you're going to, you either need to have another PCR, a rapid test, or a self-test. And it's massively confusing. You also need to do one of those things if you're coming back to Athens, although none of this applies if you're vaccinated. Let's say you come to Athens and then you go to Santorini and you've taken your rapid test to go to Santorini, but then you're going to go to Naxos. All you need to do is take a self-test and those are readily available at the pharmacies here in Greece. You then fill out a form, either the self-test declaration form, which I will put in the description box below, or the ferry company may ask you to fill out their passenger locator form, which is pretty standard right now on the ferries. And you can get that at the ferry office before you leave, or you can ask your hotel to print it out for you. Don't fret. You don't need to worry about like having it in advance. Now, let's say you're going to Santorini and then you're going to either take the ferry or fly to Crete. You then have to either take a PCR test or a rapid test. A self-test will not work. And what the difference is between these two is that they're two different regional units. And if you're not familiar with Greece, then that's kind of confusing because you don't know what the regional units are, which I totally understand. My advice to you would be to contact the ferry company or ask them when you book your ticket if you're on an island because they're gonna know whether or not you need to either take a rapid test or self-test. I know this is massively confusing and it probably will change again before my next update. So like always, I'm gonna encourage you to follow the Greek news. I will put that also in the description box. And I'm also putting these updates in my community tab. So make sure you're following along there if you're coming to Greece either later in August or in September. And yes, even October is a good time to come to Greece. I'm gonna put a link to a video that I made about two years ago about that. I uh, think it will be helpful. All right, getting into Greece. Now, the countries allowed in haven't really changed. A few have been added. And again, the list is now 34 plus EU and Schengen countries, so I'm not gonna list them out here. It won't be here too long. <laughs> I will put all of the countries that are allowed into Greece down below. Now remember, if you're in the EU or in Schengen, your country probably isn't listed. It probably just says EU and Schengen. So if you're in Switzerland, you're included in that because you are part of the Schengen group, even though you may not be part of the EU. I hope I've gotten that right. <laughs> it's Even that's confusing. Uh, so those are my suggestions. I also have down in the description box below places that I know of that you can get a rapid test and a PCR test done. It is not complete. I'm trying to add to it as I find out more places. Uh, but if for some reason you're on an island and my, the island is not listed there, a good place to check is either with your hotel 
or with the pharmacy. There are pharmacies everywhere here in Greece, unless you're on a tiny island like Anafi that doesn't have a pharmacy. <laughs> anyway, you can ask those people. They will know the answers to where to get a test. And I know that a lot of people need a test to go back to their home country, so you're probably gonna wanna find out this information anyway. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Stay tuned for the updates in my community tab and I'll see you in the next video.